morning and welcome to the second video of our honeymoon in Bali. This is day four. Day four. We lost track. Yes. It's Friday. It's day four <laughs> for us in Bali. And the first, the last video, I hope you all enjoyed it. The long vlog. It's there's another one coming. It's a lot of adventure. We're loading up on our supplies, aka food. So I got a protein smoothie this morning. It's like mixed berries. Um, and then there's a scoop of like vanilla whey protein. And then we bought like five donuts from the place that we went to in the previous video, Doe Darlings. Jess loves that place. So, yes, they're, so they're all so good. They're all really good. All right, so this morning we got the dark chocolate. Jess loves this one. We got two glazed. Uh, the cinnamon, I guess Jess like that even more. And the ham and egg for me. All right. There it is. Let's get this bell. There's that sweet, that sweet and salty goodness. Perfect combination. These places that we're eating at are in Zemia because that's where our, our villa is. Doe Darlings is literally like a tenth of a mile down from us. So we literally just walk there every morning. And it's fire. Got a little ham, got a little egg, and they put like some sauce in them. I'm thinking it's like a like a pesto hollandaise sauce. Five donuts for around 10 bucks. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> she got a nicer phone than me. <laughs> leke leke. Leke leke. Hey. So tourism is crazy. Here um, was, is a lot more expensive than yesterday. So we had to pay for swings. We got to pay for, um, you know, like the selfie area, the really famous place. Yesterday was 15,000 rupiah, which was at, um, what was that at? Uh, Tukasepung. Tukasepung waterfall was 15,000 today. It's 250,000. $20 versus $1. Oh shit, we're supposed to go on the swing. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh uh, man, I don't know about this. Oh damn, bro. Okay, sounds good. Safety equipment. Yeah, Good safety idea. Equipment. This for me, for the safety. Okay. So we don't fall. Yeah, I thought we were gonna free flow. No. You know what I mean? Don't let this, these green fool you, man. In real life. Gosh, she's so adorable. What's your name? You're gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> Hello. He's gonna be on YouTube too, and he's gonna be watching himself. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Wayan. Wayan? Yeah. That's our driver's name. <laughs> Where's Wayan? He's up there too. <laughs> wow, this is good for the for sun. the for the picture, yeah. Mm. It's good. I don't know how my dress is gonna follow. It'll be fine. Here we go. There we go. Here we go. One, two. Nice, hey! Oh, he giving you a hard push. Hey, low key, I'm kind of peeing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! She's having the time of her life. This is the scenes for today. Look at that. Far, super, like crazy. Just want to let y'all know I love YouTube. Pray for me. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> He's afraid of heights. Oh Let's God. be real. Just don't look down. <laughs> That's like really low. <laughs> Higher. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> higher, higher. Oh shit. Oh, I love my mom. <laughs> 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 it doesn't even look like I'm going that high though. You're not. <laughs> oh my god. 
Okay, I'm good. Wait, wait, no, no more. You're good? Just don't fall? My hands are sweating. <laughs> They're probably all laughing at me like you pussy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> One, two, three. He gave us little walking sticks. Yesterday we didn't get a walking stick, so today might be a little bit harsher. We're heading down to the waterfall after an hour later of IG selfies. <laughs> <laughs> People don't tell you how many selfies you gotta take in order to get that one perfect one. Oh! 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 Shit, baby! Oh, shit, baby! You okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Are you good? Yeah. Really? Uh-oh. Casualty number one. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, we're good. I just slipped. I got that on camera too, though. <laughs> uh oh, not another one, huh? It's just muddy. Yeah, it is. That's just like yesterday. It was absolutely beautiful. But you know, this is a little bit different, of course. I can't wait till we see the waterfall, man. This hike, 20 minute hike downward, is so worth it. I want y'all to see this before we take a picture. Look at this bridge. Oh, wow. Wow. Are you kidding me right now? Guys, I feel like I'm in Indiana Jones. Yeah, so beautiful. Look at little chickens. Hey, I ate your friend last night. I ate your cousin yesterday. Stop. I ate your cousin. Wow, guys. Are you serious? Oh my lord. That is gorgeous. Babe, that's so romantic. Wow, I wish you guys were here. Like, this is even more beautiful than yesterday, huh? Wow. Damn. I am like speechless. This is all I can say is just damn. Take a second, take a moment and appreciate the beauty, man. Like, yesterday, we thought yesterday was beautiful. This is like another level, man. Holy moly, that is gorgeous. It's been like a one of nutrition bar. After a long hike. Alright, so next scenery, we drove all the way up the mountain, came back down, down. This is one of the heaven's gates that, you know, the people take and it kind of has a reflection. What? That is so freaking gorgeous, guys. It's like, we drove all the way up the mountain and it kind of like, all the sky kind of like dispersed and we couldn't see anything. And now, you got the clouds up top and it kind of blocks the mountain. Steam? Wow, mangosteen is very expensive in the US. I love Holy mangosteen. Cow. It is so oh sweet. Oh my gosh. Sweet. So Yo guys, we're at, we pulled over to like a local farmer's market. Everything is organic, obviously. Look at this lush. I don't know if you guys can tell, but everyone has like their own like fruit. No, they don't have big, big. They're all like like petite and really really like sweet. Damn, she needs to open one for me. Let me give someone that. Mangosteen happens to be one of my favorite fruits actually. It's so expensive in the US. It's so sweet. So good. So good. Wow. How was that? Let me get that. Strawberry, my favorite fruit. Oh wow, look at that. Nice. Hello? This is where you're gonna find real bomb strawberries. Uh, lychee, what is this? Lychee? Rambutan. Yeah. How was that? Bomb? Yeah, it's kind of Dude, look at that. Wow. You like that one? Yeah, I'm getting this. How much is this one? Wanna try this? Yep. 
What is that? Uh, maracuya. Maracuya. Passion fruit? This yeah. one passion fruit. Not the same? No, oh, it's this. Mm. Which one is this one? So fresh. Maracuya. What's maracuya? This is guava. That, that's guava? I don't like it. Mm. I love guava. Nope. Guava? Yeah. No, thank you. I'm good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You got durian? Can I get durian? Durian. 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 No season. Yeah. No season? Yeah. I'll hug them. Everyone, everyone have durian. <laughs> everyone have durian. How come you don't have durian? What is that? What is this one? Maracuya. Maracuya? You don't like it. Why is it different? It's the same or different? Yeah, man, it's the sweeter. That's sweeter? Yeah. Whoa, this is, looks weird, guys. It looks like bugs. It's the seeds. Yeah. Oh, wow, these are fire, babe. Babe. Hello. This one, hello, hello. Mm. Babe. Thank you, thank you. Let's try that. Two different breeds. Mm. I actually like the other one. It's I more like sour. I like the sweeter one. I like the sweeter one. I like the sour one. Super good. How much strawberries? Can I try one strawberry? One, no? Let me try one. Yeah, Let me try one. Strawberry. Nice. The fruit? Fire. 75,000. 75,000. Yeah. Let's eat some strawberries. Huh? Let, me, let me try uh, one. Let me try one. One? One piece. One strawberry. Is it sweet or no sweet? Sweet. Kish came up with the term, no try, no buy. She, get, she hit me with 75,000. I said, no try, no buy. I walk away. Anywhere in Southeast Asia, you better come ready to negotiate pricing because if you don't, you're gonna spend a lot more money than you're supposed to. So, all this, instead of 75,000, for 30,000. 5,000? Yeah. 5, yeah, one. 2,000. <laughs> 2,000. Okay, three, 10,000. Three for 10,000? <laughs> three. Yeah? Three. Uh, sorry, three, three, uh, nah. Two. Two for five thousand. Two, two for five thousand. Two, five thousand. Two. Last price. No. Two for five thousand. Last price. No. Holy moly! Look at these avocados, guys. Avocado? Yeah. Avocado? So big. Look at your head. Holy moly! This is freaking huge. That's the biggest avocado I've ever seen. You like that smell of uh, durian? No. No. Durian is the best. I'm trying it's to. Papaya. I'm trying to get them to open a, a durian for me. No one will open a durian for me to try. You're making me pay. Do you have durian? Durian. Durian. Where? Oh, right there. Oh, durian. Who's durian? Durian. Can you open for me? I try. I try. No. I try. No buy. No buy. No 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 try. No buy. Uh, no buy, no try. <laughs> hey, no buy, no try. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> how, much, how much for one durian? Uh, one hundred. One hundred. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. What's, what's bankrupt? Me bankrupt. What is that? Bankrupt? Final price. Final price. Final price. Huh? 80? 80. 80. She say 50. She say 50,000. Same. The same. It looked the same. How do you know? You look like the same family, right? And how did they eat like this? A different yeah. one, not that one. A different one. Okay, okay. 40,000. Final price. Final? Uh, 60. No more. 40? Yeah, okay. 40,000. Yeah. Yes, okay. Yes. 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 Where are you from? America. America. Yeah. After this you can look in my shop. I'm from okay. Hong Kong. Yeah. Hong Kong. Which one? My Which one is the sweet? sweet one. Okay, no, you open. Me. You open for me. Sweet. Open for me. Ah, this uh, I know this. No, no. Mama, is it sweet? Yeah, yeah, sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Uh, the money. 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 No money. No money. No money. No money. No money. Do my honey. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Ten thousand. Oh, mama. Mama, papa. Oh, 
Hey, it's about to be fire. <laughs> Babe, you want to try some? <laughs> That's all you. <laughs> Let me get Mama on the other side. No honey, no money. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. There you go. Let's eat. She said it was sweet. Let's try it. Durian? Durian. Is that trash? Is it sweet? Yeah. Where do I live? New York. I live in New York. Sharing with the locals. You, oh, you, you, live you like it? Yeah. You live here? In Bali. Oh, you live in Bali? Yeah. Man, it's so good, huh? Yeah. You guys share with the uh, upper stamp? Upper stamp? Yes. Mm. Oh, congratulations. That's my husband. You guys, you guys share with the locals. Yeah. yeah. That husband? That's my husband. Yeah. It's very sweet. <laughs> US, one durian? Yeah. How much in the uh, in lot. Uh, one one point one million. Oh, one yeah. million one hundred thousand. Oh, yeah. yeah. If one million in if here. Bali, they call it durian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> durian. Very, very <laughs> come come buy it from her. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What's this? No smell. Yeah. None of it. But Ginseng tea, smell. no smell. It's All powder. Uh, if you open, this very very good smell. It's copy, Do copy, <laughs> copy ginseng. Yeah. Bali mocha coffee. You smell. You yeah, my breast smells like dirty. No, you don't have, have an it. open one back there. No, no. Because I have all no, the really yeah. Everyone in Bali is just so nice. There are hustlers out here, and there are like good people. But uh, I negotiated for like the whole durian was like two dollars and eighty cents. Which one? Which is your that. favorite? Two? For both? Uh, yeah. How many? How many? I need to smell. Can you open? I need to smell. Because this, uh, I'm already uh, drink. Very, very good. Let me smell. You drink, uh, let me no, smell. I have the, the oven. You can't open it. I can't even smell it. Yeah, I can't the smell. Then don't buy it if you can't smell it. Because how do you know it's good? It's coffee beans. Okay, try strawberry. Right, uh, and then where do you go? Um, um, wow. Where? where do we go? It's four o'clock. Like, you like it? Nice. Right, one out of ten? The strawberries? Yeah. Eight and a half. Very tasty. Hustle or be hustle. That's that's Southeast Asia. We don't like be hustle. They're kind of sour. Sour sweet. I like them. Mm. Perfect. So we realized something. We're staying in a city called Semenyak. Semenyak is on the west coast of the island. Uh, it is the most touristy spot in all of Bali. So we're trying to go to like night markets and stuff. But the thing is with that is since this is the most touristy place, night, the night markets are usually tended towards the locals uh, because the food is a lot cheaper. So we're trying to go to like night markets and stuff. We couldn't find any within the, you know, like within like five to 10 miles. So we're kind of having to settle for like more expensive restaurants, more gourmet restaurants, which isn't a problem because we know that once we get to the other sides of town, uh, there's gonna be a lot cheaper alternatives. So we're enjoying things while we can over here. So we're at a place called Bowen Bun. Bowen Bun is like a Thai, like we're craving Thai food. So Bowen Bun has gourmet Thai food for gourmet prices. We got a Thai tea each course and this is the pandan chicken with bulgogi fries which is korean i don't know that's korean it smells phenomenal actually i had one it's pretty good pretty good yeah each dish is around um i think this is around like 650 to seven dollars or five to six bucks and this is around like five oh, to six bucks so around the u.s price good let me feed me can't go wrong. Feed me. Can never go wrong with fries. <laughs> the fries are fire. Really good. We have the, uh, what, what kind of wings are these? Korean chicken wings. Very, very Korean flavor. 
Oh yeah. So I got a spicy lemongrass pho. Baby girl got chicken pot thai. Chicken pot thai? Yeah. We have five dishes for two people. These are appetizing. Most people order like three dishes max. We order five. All right, let me try some of this lemongrass pho because this smells really good, by the way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The broth? Nine out of ten. Wow, that's nine high. out of ten. All right. Damn, everything's good. Damn. So just to let you guys know, three appetizers, two entrees, and two drinks. We didn't even finish all the food. Jess and I are stuffed. Like the entrees are pretty decent sized. Uh, overall, like this restaurant, you know, service, pricing, food, everything. It's like an eight and a half out of ten. I would say I would definitely I would come back. Like if I were to rate people and tell people like, okay, what's like a gourmet place to eat? This is a spot. This is a really good spot. I am so sunburned. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my arms are red and my body is not. <laughs> so we thought it would be funny, or we thought, not funny, but like we didn't think that we would need it because we were in the rainforest and there's like a bunch of trees covering us. Well, shit, man. That was the wrong idea. We've been filling this tub for the past 15 minutes. It's not even halfway yet. It's so freaking big, guys. Like, there's my hand. There's my hand. Look at that. Damn, guys. We wake up to this every morning for the next, I think, three days left. Shit. So dope. Today and my day. Good day, my day. Good morning. They make us breakfast every single morning, man. That's amazing. Also, I bring my supplements with me. I've been taking this every single morning with, um, along with obviously all the fruits and vegetables that I've been eating, the multivitamins from One of Nutrition. Every single morning, guys, get your vitamins and minerals. So like I was saying yesterday, <coughs> Indonesians are known for coffee. It's in Bali, it's coffee. Literally every single corner you turn. There's a place down the street from us called Coffee Cartel. Apparently they make amazing coffee is what everyone tells us. But I think that Gade and Made make better coffee than anywhere, right? Yeah. Guys, every single morning we have about, I have about, Three cups. Three cups of this dark ass coffee. And let me tell you, if you got trouble going, <laughs> this shit will get you running. Running. <laughs> oh, mango and pineapple. Yeah. Ooh. Also, when you're on vacation, you don't count your calories. You know, you just fucking just, you just pour, guys. Yeah. We don't do non fat milk over here. Not on vacation. Omelette looking ready and delicious. Laundry service here is imminent. I didn't overpack on this trip because I knew that this was a thing here. I was watching plenty of YouTube videos. So if you guys are wanting to like overpack to Southeast Asia, rethink it because you're traveling with a huge luggage. Um, they have immaculate service here, guys. And this is one of the greatest perks in Southeast Asia. So, and plus your, your clothes are gonna smell really nice and you're not gonna travel around like hauling dirty laundry, which is good. The more, the less clothes you bring, the better, in my opinion, because, you know, bring a big luggage. That's what I always tell you. Do, like, my, my piece of advice is like, you'll see a lot of people like be backpackers and everything like that, which is good, like, you know, to each his own. But if you're like a bougie traveler like me, um, and you like having, you know, or you like buying a lot of stuff, like bring, bring a roll, back, bring a roll um, luggage because you can always do your laundry. All of this laundry 
which was 32 articles of clothing. So mine and Jess clothing for $4. 62,000 rupiah, which is $3 and like 90 cents for all of this. So promise you like don't bring too much clothes. Plus you can buy clothes here, which is like very inexpensive as well. <laughs> hey, but I just smelled the laundry. It's so All sorry. I'm saying, my balls gonna smell real good. Know what I mean, <laughs> it's just, man, it smell good, man. I need to ask him what their secret is. That's probably the best smelling laundry I've ever had. It smells so fresh, legit, like fresh linens, like. Smashed a workout. Uh, I will say, since since we've been in Bali, our nutrition has been on point, except for the fact that we've been eating fried food every day. Everything else has been on point, like tons of fruits, tons of vegetables, and you know, tons of good rest. And so I've been feeling like amazing. The workouts, the pumps, you know, not lagging at all because I've been keeping up with the workouts. And on top of that, we've been doing a lot of cardio, like walking, you know, hiking and stuff. Guys, nutrition, so important. Uh, it's super overlooked, especially when you're traveling, but you guys have to remember, try, 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 try to eat at least two servings of fruits and vegetables every single day when you are on vacation. Take your multivitamins with you because your micronutrients, chances are like when you're traveling, you're not getting enough, but it's it doesn't hurt to have it, right? It never hurts to have it. I will say, that I haven't been drinking enough water. And that's something that I need to hold accountable for myself. Because I've been focused like on drinking tons of smoothies for a lot of micronutrients, make sure I'm getting a lot of vitamin C so I'm not getting sick. Because the last thing I want to do is get sick on this trip. All right, so we're here at the famous coffee cartel. I got the sashimi poke bowl. Honestly, that's fire. That's all the tuna you get, but I mean, it's all good, guys. Like. Look at the vegetables and fruits, how fresh that is. And then we have an acai bowl. Of course, you guys already know what acai is. They got strawberries, bananas, granola. They got some coconut flakes. What you get, mama? It's like a avocado toast, but I added some cool brisket to it. Yeah, that looks, actually looks really good. Yeah, the brisket's good? Let me try. Let's see how good they do brisket here. Good, huh? Yeah. One thing about this place, man, since everything is organic, the fruits and vegetables taste so fresh. Like it's it's definitely a feeling that you eat that you cannot describe. You gotta eat it yourself to like feel it out. Man, these pretty much everywhere you go, and these are uh, you know, for religion purposes, and they're always at the uh, doorstep. I always accidentally step on it because I never see it, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Coffee cartel, the food is really good. Um, you know, just really Instagram worthy pictures and they feed off of tourists because of where you're at. So, pricing, service, taste, overall, everything, seven and a half because the portions are really small um, in accordance of like what you're supposed to get. It's all. It's like pretty much American brunch uh, portions. It's not that big, it's just very pretty. So like a seven and a half out of 10, would I recommend it? Yeah, I mean, you can try it out, it's, but it's, you, you know, I, I would say the, what'd you say? Would you come back? Would I come back? Um, yeah, I mean, I would come back because they have some stuff that I like. The taxi situation is kind of funny here. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds of taxis most of which you're gonna see are blue. They're gonna beep you everywhere you go because they, they want service, right? They, they wanna get money. So there's one central one that is like most people feel safe with and that's called Bluebird and they run by the, uh, the meter. However, since I have never run 
with the meter, I don't know how much it's gonna be, right? Because it's all variable pricing because there may be um, you know, traffic here and there. You don't know specifically how much it's gonna cost. Whereas, um, most places, I'm not really afraid of being scammed because I haven't been scammed yet, but before you get into a cab that's not Bluebird, I would recommend that you haggle the price before you get into it, before you get into anywhere. So before I get into any cab, I always, that my safety net is to drop to 20,000 as my first negotiation price, which is um, like $1.50, right? So 20,000 rupiah, they will always start at right around like 70 to 100,000. And no matter where you go, that's where they always start. And I'll go 25,000 and then I'll go 30,000 as my last price. And I'll never go higher than that. Uh, if I stay in Seminyak or Changu, I will never go higher than 30,000 because then you're shooting yourself in the foot. So 30,000 is like two bucks and that's a very good safety net price. Karis, I know I've already shown you guys this, but during a day, this place is even more beautiful. This pool, you cannot beat it. Look, look how small Jess looks in accordance to the pool. Like, come on. How did I get so lucky? Wow. Today, we are not going to do any sightseeing. Um, we're gonna save all of that maybe for like the other days that we're here. Today is just a day that we're gonna, you know, just stay in Seminyak. We're going to, you know, just chill, go do some shopping because we haven't done that yet. And then maybe just do her nails. Maybe I get a haircut because your boy looking a little nappy. Starting to look a little nappy. Most famous flavor right here. Guys, that's a lot of ice cream. <laughs> For 33,000, that's actually not that bad. All right, so we went with the most refreshing flavor, lime. You can never go wrong with lime. And it really just tastes like if they got like the lemon skin, the skin from the lemon, and they like grounded it up into the ice cream and mix it, that's what it tastes like. Very, very pungent in flavor. Took a break from the heat. Heat. We're just walking, like sweating our asses off. And we actually came across a mall. We didn't even know. It's like a really small entrance. And we felt the AC. So we're like, why not? Yo, I didn't even realize, but your boy's getting bronze out here. We're getting bronze out here, baby. Just as injured and sunburned. <laughs> and I'm sunburned. Got some aloe vera here. Man, I was like, shit. I didn't want to get this, but my shoulders are burning. I brought some too. I know. <laughs> All right, this is how I look after. What's your name, man? Ayu. Ayu? Ayu. Ayu. Yep. All right, I'm going to trust Ayu with my hair. Okay. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't take me down, man. So we'll see. This is before. Yeah. This is after, man. Hey, my man, uh, you didn't do too bad, man. Low key, I like it. You got a straight edge, really, really clean cut. The pomade that they use is actually really nice. It's like a brand that they have. Wolf Noir, Aventura. It's really good, man. Yo, low key, I like this place. This is called Barber Bar Bali, right? We're fat asses, man. Three burgers and fries for two people. Most people order a burger and that's it. It was happy hour, we had an excuse, right? We're at a spot called Street Boy. Um, these burgers are really special because they're not just regular buns, they're like bao buns. So bao is like, you know, oh, the white kind of bun that Chinese cultures eat. And we got two beef burgers, so about five ounces each, and then this is like a pulled beef. My mouth is watered. And then we got fries, let me try the fries. They're different. Mm. 
they're I like, like that. They're like lemony though, right? So lemony, like, yeah. brisket, I don't know. Cheesy. All right, all right, mama. It's time for you to try the burger. Sorry, I, I went in on that. I don't even know what these are, but these are all three beef burgers. I just know that's a pulled beef, so it's a little bit different. And these are just beef patties with different kinds of sauces. Damn, my oh, mouth is just watering. Oh How do I my eat gosh. this? Take a big ass bite. Big ass bite. Oh, look at that. Mm. That's good. Let me try that. Feed me. Mm. Alright, so this one has uh, caramelized onion, some red cabbage, wasabi mayo, and a five ounce beef patty. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. That one is good, huh? The wasabi. It's good, right? It is Damn, good. that's fire. It tastes Which like. Which one do you like more? This one. This one, right? Yeah, mm. me too, for sure. Alright, try the full beef. That one looks. Oh, look at that! Hey, sheesh. I'm gonna Ooh, look at that juice dripping. They only judge by what they see. Might be my favorite. No way. It tastes like beef salad. It might be the same flavor as the fries. Oh, probably. Yeah. It tastes like beef salad, right? No, it tastes like Vietnamese. Vietnamese call it bò dai chan. Bò dai chan is, uh, they have this lemony fish sauce that they cook uh, in, cook in uh, with the raw beef. But instead of the raw beef, this has pulled brisket. Paired up so well, guys. <laughs> this is happy hour. So, um, bow down all night is 50 IDR, so 50 rupiah, which is like $3.50 per burger. So right here is like about $13 in total. Three burgers, a little over a pound of meat for $13. So I just did a Thai massage. I went to, been to Thailand before. Justin and I have been to Thailand before. And there's a period of like, four straight days that we did a Thai massage every single day by different people. None of it was as good as today. I'm not even in Thailand. That shit was hard. I'm like so relaxed right now. The past couple days when we got a massage, it wasn't as good as this place. Like this place is like fire. She was like, full. I did a full on Thai massage and if you guys have ever done a Thai massage before, you know that Thai massage is like, like they're like literally twisting and turning you in all different sorts. I felt like my body was about to break literally, but it felt amazing. And uh, every girl is chilling, doing her nails. Cause she broke her nails when she fell yesterday. <laughs> this is our last full day here in Villa Paya Paya. Bummer. Stay longer. Yeah, we don't want to leave this place, man. It's like literally perfect in every single way. We got our boys making us a breakfast today, but we were called for something different. They're making us some chicken fried rice. That looks phenomenal, man. Got an egg, chicken. Yesterday, I cut up the strawberries that I bought from the um, farmer's market a couple days back. So I cut them up froze them so they didn't go bad and I'm gonna actually make a smoothie with this I brought my protein powder from 1UP it's not even open yet <laughs> but I brought some vanilla ice cream whey protein so I'm gonna put like two scoops and 
the whole box of strawberries. One thing I've been short on this entire trip is like definitely protein. Fats I've been like way over, carbs I've been way over, but protein I've been a lot lower. And so I'm tr really trying to just capitalize on my protein intake because I don't want to go like three whole weeks with that super low uh, protein. We should have gotten this food the other days because this I looks... I told you. Woo! Look at that. We got fried rice, egg on top, chicken, mango steam. We got some pineapple, cucumber. We got watermelon, strawberry watermelon juice. And of course, we got good days. Signature coffee. This is the best. So this is our boy, Adi. And we just figured out he's been working here since 2009. And how long, like, when did this place open? Uh, 2007, I think. 2007? Yeah. So this place has been open for 12 years. And I must say that it's in immaculate condition. Yes, there are signs of, like, wear and tear, but that's, like, totally normal. Is but it her? Yeah. So a famous singer house. actually owns this place, a celebrity. That's pretty cool. What's her name? Rosa. R Rosa. 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 She's oh, okay. So Rosa with two S's and she's from Jakarta. If you guys are ever in Bali in Semenyak, please stay here. You know why this is perfect? It's because Jess and I were actually discussing this is all the Jalan roads, roads are like, they're all too packed. You know, all the main streets and stuff. You know, you have all the, sh the shops and everything and all the restaurants, but you don't want to stay there because it's so populated and so crazy that it's not peaceful at night. So even when we're here on our smaller road, we're less than like, I don't know, like a mile away, babe. We've, we walked it already, so it's not that far to be honest. And you know, I think that our road is perfect and there's already a lot of cars here to, be, to begin with. But my best piece of advice is stay in a place like this because one you get way more bang for your buck like this place is absolutely massive uh we were looking at staying at the w or the Seminyak beach resort which both of them are on the beach and the w being the w it's gonna make really escalated pricing um, i think the room the normal room was like 200 dollars a night or 220 dollars a night and it was um 700 square feet 700 square feet is like the size of this living room. This is just our living room. You know, we have so many different things and we have a private pool, we have a private hot tub, you know, we have a private security guard. Everything is extremely safe here. And you know, if you're, because if you're worried about it being dangerous at night, there's, it's not dangerous. There's like women walking around at midnight by themselves, like nothing, you know what I mean? So. What, nothing? Like, like, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing, but you know, if, because we, I read, like before I came here, I read a lot of forums, I read a lot of stuff on TripAdvisor, watched a lot of YouTube videos, because I was kind of, you know, um, trying to see what I was getting myself into and were we staying in a safe area? Is Seminyak safe? And Because if you don't know, then you don't know. You know, like it's completely unfamiliar territory, but that's what's great about it. Um, our place is insanely safe. No one, we, like the first nights, I was worried about, you know, like leaving our safe, um, super secure, leaving our stuff like super tucked away. But over here, it's like so safe that none of this would be going down, to be honest. Like I highly recommend if you're in Seminyak, stay in Villa Baya Baya. So here's the girl who owns it, who the focus. Her name is Rosa. She has 7 million followers, guys. So just wrapped up another workout here at Soham Wellness Center. I didn't film it because even though this is a fitness based channel, just know that you know I don't have to show you guys every single workout because that's not what you're at this video for. So this is our very last workout at Soham Wellness Center because we are actually leaving Seminyak tomorrow morning and we're heading to Ubud. Um, and then after that, we're gonna head to another city. You know, it's also cool uh, that just happened. So earlier, we we're talking about who owns the villa that we're staying in. It's actually a celebrity. Guess what, guys? One, she reposted my picture on her story. She's seven million followers. She's a worldwide international celebrity singer. She posted me. 
And on top of that, we're actually talking in IG DMs right now. I, she slid in my DM, you know what I mean? Well, I slid in her DM first, but um, so cool. Like, we're talking to her. She's actually, you know, giving us recommendations. And we're trying to stay maybe at another villa that she owns, maybe in another side of the island. Korean food in Bali. Look at that, guys. Tabletop. Fire, man, fire. We're looking at the menu right now, Let's see if it's good. We just asked some people that came out and they said it was phenomenal. They look Korean. Korean so. red chili and hot fried Ooh, chicken. Look at that. Fried chicken. There's the prices are chicken. definitely kind of steep, you know what I mean? Like eight to 10 bucks a, a plate. Fitness people don't waste that many calories on soda. We rather just eat our calories. I haven't tasted a regular Coke in years. Literally years. I always drink Coke Zero or anything. So here goes. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I always say that Coke Zero tastes like the real thing, but yeah. in reality, it's because I haven't tasted it in years. So I totally forgot about the taste. Damn. Plus, this one's different because this is the Sugar King. Yeah, this is also made with cane sugar instead of fruit syrup. Wow, guys. Phenomenal, man. Look at this food. These are the, only the appetizers. We got the grilled chicken. It's fire. We got kimchi. We got some salad. Got salad. Some raw garlic. We got some more kimchi. We got three plates because you guys, you guys know I love kimchi. We got dumpling. Ramyun. Baby, you want to try the soup? Do the honors, you know what I mean? Mm, mm, so try good. the broth. Mm -hmm. The spoon is so big. Not bad. It's pretty good, it's like a pork, pork broth. Yeah. It tastes really, um, definitely like very pure. I will be the judge of good kimchi. Okay. <laughs> that is some damn good kimchi, guys. All right, now you try the kimchi. You try, I try. Yes, I try, you try. My mama get the, uh, here we go, get the chopsticks. Mm. Very pungent, right? Yeah. Garlicky, fresh, authentic. Love it. All right, now this looks amazing. They give you some fries in there too, look at that. Let's get this, a little chicken. Let's try this, got the sauce on the side. We found out that if you don't get sauce on the side here, they, it's, it's way too overpowering, so we learned our lesson. Good. I don't know if you guys can see that, Look how juicy that is. Holy moly. That is like... Okay, this is... This is on par to that place we had in Korea. Oh, really? Wow. Wow. Try a bite. Ooh, it's hot. Mm. What would you rate that? Solid eight. How's the ramyun? We know the broth is pretty good, but how is the the noodles? Yeah. Okay. Our last full day in Semnya. Some coffee. This is the first coffee that I've ever bought in Seminyak. Usually it's Gooday or, or um, Made making it for me. It's not bad. I don't, I don't know if you like it. It's a uh, blended vanilla. It's good, right? It tastes like the, the Starbucks, the jar, the glass jar. Like. But a little more strong, right? And stronger? Yeah. It's not bad at all. You're just... We came here the first day and Jess got this smoothie bowl and so she wanted to come back. Yeah. They actually bowl. put mangoes this time. Yeah. So, we're about to start packing. 
because we are leaving this villa staying here it's our very last night it's a bummer because we truly truly enjoyed this villa and um, the hospitality the space everything is absolutely amazing but we're gonna uproot and that means a new place new villa just booked it so i don't know what to expect i know i'm in good hands but anyways hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you all in part three where we will be staying in ubud peace out everyone have a great night and i'll see you in the next video